Okay, hey everybody, we are going to take a quick look at, uh, a quick overview look at the American Revolutionary War today. Um, and generally, can be split into two phases. The first from 1776 to 1778 when we declare independence in 76. Um, and then uh, a turning point um, where you have a shift to what is called the Southern Phase, um, 1778 to 1781 when fighting stops and then um, the Treaty of Paris is not officially signed until 1783. So as you can see, um, if you look at this map, if I can zoom in here a little bit, what you'll notice on the map, um, if you look really closely, is that a lot of the dates on here, 77, 78, 76, 76, 77, so all of most of the battles in the beginning um, years of the war um, are fought, as we said before, in the northern part of the states. <coughs> okay, the objective for the British um, is to cut off New England. Why? New England is where all of the, you know, sort of the hype was. All of the rebels were located. This was, this was the group um, that were leading the cause. Um, and remember in the South, they have, you know, less people that are sort of on the side of the rebels and more, on, or the patriots, and more on the side of, um, of the British. There were more loyalists in the South. Big objective for France, uh, for Americans, um, is to make an alliance with France. Um, without this alliance, it was very uh, unlikely that the Americans were going to be able to win the war. Um, the British, on paper, should have won, given the fact that they were the wealthiest country in the world. Um, they had, you know, money for supplies and weapons. They had, um, you know, a trained military, and most importantly, they had a navy. We didn't, you know, we didn't have any navy at all. And so, this alliance with France is really important for that reason. Um, the objective for Washington um, is basically to stay alive. Uh, this hero that we kind of think of, um, you know, this mythological hero. Um, in the beginning phases of the war, a lot of Americans were calling for his resignation. They said, let's get rid of this guy because it appeared like he was just losing battle after battle after battle, um, mostly because he was retreating. So he wasn't losing, he wasn't um, getting captured, and, um, but he was retreating, so he wasn't winning. But that was sort of his plan all along, because Washington knows that in order to win, at least in the beginning, until they got their act together, um, he just needs to stay alive. He needs to make sure that his small army is not captured. Um, and so he fights very conservatively. He's on the defensive. You'll see him retreating um, often. And again, that appears to a lot of Americans like he's losing. So in the first year of the war, morale was pretty low because it seemed like they just kept losing. Um, but for Washington, again, it seemed um, he knew that he just needed uh, to sort of stay alive and continue to gather troops and gather, um, you know, try to get that alliance with France and gain momentum. Um, and so it was pretty actually genius on his part, even though a lot of Americans sort of blamed him for, for losing. So the second phase of the war, um, it starts in approximately 1778, and you'll notice again, if I zoom in here, um, that a lot of the, um, the battles now are down here, right? 1780, 1781, 1781, 1780, right? So the tide shifts to the southern part of the colony. Okay. Um, why you say okay basically washington proved um to be a formidable foe the british um who were hoping for a short war um realized that washington is not going to be so easily defeated and they changed their strategy um they turn their attention to the south and try to defeat the colonies by moving the battle there where they think people will give up more easily and they're hoping they can also get loyalists that are in the South to join the British, um, the British cause. So that is the basic overview. Um, and so please take the quiz and check your understanding. And I'll see you in class tomorrow.